So, senor, could you please come here? Come to me. Come here and pretend you like me. Be in the camera. People want to pretend we like each other. Come forward and bring your face so it's perfect parallel. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wendy and Mauricio. We are here to answer all of your questions. So it's going to be one. So <laughs> this is going to be a really long video. Today we're going to answer all of your questions and that's a lot of questions. It is a lot of questions. You guys were question crazy. So we're going to try and get through them all. 20 bucks. We're going to put it into a couple of videos. So let's get started. Joe Mac asks, with much respect, how old are you both and what age do you plan on retirement? Thank you. Joe, you might be the most polite person on YouTube ever. I am 46 and Mauricio is 35. And I plan on retiring when I am 62. I can officially retire from work at 57, but I know me, I'm not gonna wanna retire at 57. So I'll retire at 62 where I will get fully vested in the uh, government retirement program. And Mauricio, when do you want to retire? Don't say tomorrow. You're not retiring. Whenever. So you haven't thought about retirement yet. Nope. So this next question was asked by a lot of people and they want to know where we met and want to know where we got married and about our weddings. We met in Colombia. There is some debate between Mauricio and I whether we met in Bogota or Cali. We met in Cali. Uh, we met in Bogota. Mauricio claims we met at the airport. I claim that he was not memorable enough for me. We got married in Maui and we had a beautiful tiny wedding. It was only family and it was very lovely. We got married on a cliff overlooking the beach and it it was just a lovely wedding. And we spent a week with our families in Hawaii and had a great time. The next question is from Never Too Late to Budget. She wants to know if I know how to make arepas and I do in fact know how to make arepas. Good arepas. I make good arepas. And Mauricio, I cool. and I do, I make a lot of Colombian food. Mauricio, no, uh, Mauricio's mother actually taught me how to make a lot of things. And my sister too. Yes, your sister also did teach me how, she made, taught me how to make the best beans ever. The next question is how I got Mauricio on board with the Dave Ramsey plan. We were introduced to Dave Ramsey when we were living in Baton Rouge and I was ready to do it. He was less ready to do it. I did a whole video on how I got him on board with the Dave Ramsey plan. Um, and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky. But, but basically Mauricio didn't become fully on board until we went and saw Dave Ramsey live. Right. And that night he was committed from that point on. So if, actually it was a surprise for me to you. Yeah. It was a birthday present for me. It was my birthday present. You got me tickets because you knew I really wanted to go and got backstage passes and we got to meet Dave and it was super fun. Best husband ever. Best husband ever. So it was that night really because I remember coming out of that event and you were just like, and we can do this and we can do this and we can do this. Mrs. Middle Class would like to know, <laughs> my husband is a free spirit as well. So I would like to know what Mauricio thinks is something I could do to motivate my husband to take to take money and staying in budget more seriously. Is there anything that that motivates you to budget? Um, talking about the future and the stuff that we could, oh, we could do by half and, and, and being debt free, it's just that's really salty for me. And going to see Dave Ramsey live, that did it, did it for me because we started before and I was like, eh, eh, eh. But then, and I guess being in a lot of debt and it's like, holy cow, there's a lot of money we own and freaking out a little bit, it kind of helps. So um, making it look worse for him than it actually is because I know you did that. I uh, did not. Um, it, it's that, but uh, like, you know, sitting and like, hey, we, you know, have conversations and this is, if we do this, this and that, this is how much free money we could have and this and this and that. 
you can you can buy your new car the cash and you know do whatever whatever he likes to do. melody v asks i know you discussed in a prior video that your parents may move into a senior living community have you two discussed just buying their home we have we don't want to buy a house right now <laughs> um we are we really would like to rent for several years. We have discussed the possibility of renting with my parents or renting to own as a possibility. A lot of it is going to be dependent on where they choose to live and how much cash they need to have as a, a buy-in, whether they are forced to sell the house or not. If they are forced to sell the house, I don't know what we're going to do, but we really financially are not in a place we want to be to buy this house right now. The Saving Seven asks, how has your marriage changed since going from free spenders to living the Dave Ramsey plan? We budgeted for a long time though. For me, it was like half-assed budgeting though. I, I've been budgeting for, I started in Baton Rouge, right? Mm -hmm. So eight years I've been budgeting, but I never reconciled until we got on this plan and I started using every dollar, which actually coincided. We went and saw Dave Ramsey live and then I signed up for every dollar, I think the next day. And so it was the first time I had really started reconciling. So that was a huge change. How else has our life changed? Well, we're living with my parents, but we were doing that before even starting the plan. Can you think of ways our life has changed since starting Dave Ramsey? I mean, we... We just budgeted for our first trip, like legit down to the cent budgeted. And that was pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, we Gosh. we budgeted for the trip to Columbia that we took right at the beginning of the plan because we hadn't been to Columbia in like 18 months. And so we took that trip way back when. <laughs> Mauricio's down. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, I mean. No, 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 I don't want to. Budgeting for the trip was, was a pretty huge monumental decision that we like full on saved up over the course of a year, took a trip and we actually, we were debating about staying an extra day and we looked at the budget and we said, well, we don't really have the money to do what we want to do. So do we really want to stay an extra day? And, and we didn't even have the money to stay another night. So we didn't. We and had the money, we just didn't budget for it. We could have cash flowed it but we opted to not because it wasn't planned in the budget. So that is not something we would have done in the past. Jane Hansen asks, happy anniversary. You mentioned a while back that you spoke only Spanish on the level of your house that you occupy. Just curious if you were still doing that and are still raising your daughter to be bilingual. We tried that. We have are a disaster speaking Spanish at home. I don't know why we, we practice speaking it, but then we always revert back to English. So this year, one of the things we've done, one of her summer camps is a Spanish camp. So Melina is going to Spanish camp and we speak a lot more Spanish to her now. She's responding to us in Spanish again. And, and so that is good, but the, the level of the home didn't last terribly, terribly long. We would like to go in a, another couple of weeks. We're going to try full Spanish speaking at home. And my parents will just have to learn to speak Spanish, I guess, if they want to understand us. Because we want Melina to be fluent in Spanish and English. And she's doing really, really well in Spanish camp, though. The next question is, if you could choose anywhere in the world to live, where would it be? I want to live on the beach. Where do you want to live? Can I have a palatial mansion on the beach? Like a giant, ultra-modern mansion on the beach? That's what I want. Like one that, like the bedroom and the dining room, like you can retract the doors and just walk right out on the sand. That's in, what I want. In, Italy. in where? Italia. Italy. In Italy. Italy's cool. Haven't been there, but I... yeah, that's where you want to live. So I'll see you in the next one. See. Ya. <laughs> We're out.